All right, in this video, we're gonna go over uh, how to deal with integrated rate laws to determine quantities. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the problem. So this is for integrated rate laws. A novel reaction of unknown reaction order involves one reactant, A, whose concentration declines from 0.6 molar to 0.2 molar in 45 seconds. And we're gonna do two things, number one, we're going to determine the rate constant assuming the reaction is first order in A, and then we're going to determine the rate constant assuming the reaction is second order in A. All right, so let's do the first order one. We're going to do that one in this video, and then we are going to do the second part in the second video. So what is for a first order reaction? For a first order reaction, let me go ahead and do white for this one. For a first order reaction, our integrated rate law, and I'm not going to do the whole absolute value things, but it's going to be the natural log of the concentration of A at time t is equal to the natural log of the concentration of A at the initial time, which is going to be time equals zero, minus the rate constant times t. All right. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to subtract the natural log of A naught over here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because ultimately I'm solving for k. All right. Now there's a trick here. When you have the natural log of some number minus the natural log of the other, this is literally just the natural log of concentration of at divided by concentration of a naught. All right. So that's the reason I chose to do that, and then this is equal to negative kt. So let's go ahead and figure out what at over a naught is. Well, a at time t, let's see, is 0.2. a at time t is sort of the final time, and a naught's the initial, so it's going to be 0.2 divided by 0.6, which is one third, right? Because if we do 0.2 divided by 0.6, it's the same as 2 divided by 6, or one third. So this is going to be the natural log of one third is equal to minus kt. If you're curious where I got this, I'll go ahead and write it out. We would get the natural log, remember the concentration at time t is 0.2 and the initial a naught is 0.6. So what I would get is 0 0.200 molar divided by 0 0.600 molar. And I guarantee you, if you type this into your calculator, it's gonna be 1 third. And that's gonna be equal to, and let me actually do this, that's gonna be equal to k times the time, which is 45 seconds. Let me make sure I believe that was 45 seconds right. Okay, so now let's go ahead and solve for k. All right, so we're going to get natural log of one third. I'm expecting a negative number, and sure enough, it's negative. So I get negative 1.09, I'm going to round it to 9, 1.099 divided by 45 seconds. And that is going to give me minus k. Now because they're both minus, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the minus signs. Okay, so it's going to be 1.099 divided by 45. And I get that the rate constant for this, this is our first order rate constant, so k1, is about 0. Point, let's see, it's going to be 0, 0.0244. Okay. And the units of a first order rate constant are per second. Now, this is honestly one of the things that confuses students the most, how you figure out the order of a rate, or the units of a rate constant given a reaction order. The way I'll always think about it is, okay, let's write a generic rate law for a first order reaction, just a generic. Our rate is always gonna be the rate constant times our concentration, okay? And because the exponent here is one, that's what makes this first order. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to now, instead of writing numbers, I'm just going to write the units in for these. Now, rate is always concentration per unit time. Since we're dealing with molar here, I'm just going to do molar per second. That's the units of rate. K, we're trying to figure out the units of, and A is all the concentrations, regardless, are units of molar, and since it's to the first power, it's just molar to the first power or molar. So then I'm gonna divide both sides by molar, okay? It gets rid of that. So that means the, the, the rate constant has to have units of molar per second 
times 1 over molar because it's divided by molar and you see the molars cancel so k is going to have to have units of per second or 1 over seconds depending on how you want to write it. And that's how I knew this. Okay, So this is going to be my rate constant for this first order reaction. All right, So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense and I'm actually going to move this over here and in the next video we're actually going to do the same thing but we're going to do it assuming that it's a second order reaction and we're actually going to get a different rate constant. All right, So join us in the next video where we do that. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for future videos and notifications. Thank you.